Hello there guys, I'm Rasmus from Hexholm Web and today I'm going to show you how to find expired domains with high authority backlinks using hrefs and scrapebox. Now, the first thing we have to do is find a target uh, website that we would like to scrape from. And preferably this is an authority website, even better it's a website with lots of pages, so maybe a, a news website or something similar to that. Um, and one way, if you don't have one specific option at hand, you can go to hrefs and then click here more and go to this page hrefs rank. And this will basically sort um, the most popular domains by uh, the domain rating that hrefs has given them. Now, let's um, yeah, let's just go a few pages back here. There is a pretty good chance that the first pages or the most popular domains are scraped to death. <laughs> so if we're gonna try and find something actually useful we might have to um, maybe move back a little further in these results. Now um, I'll just check a few websites and see if I can find um, find a fitting one and CNET is, is it looks like a website that has a lot of pages on it, uh, lots of content. Um, and a better way to check if this website is actually useful is here on hrefs. We go to, just go to the overview of the website. And then we go to broken links. And this is where things get interesting. We can see we have 58,000 pages with broken links. And that's a lot. So that's that's... The ideal site for us, a website that has lots of broken links that we can scrape through using Scrapebox. Now, we're going to export these, um, this data right here, the broken links, to use with Scrapebox. Uh, but before, I always like to just go up here and uh, sort by do follow links only, since we want something that passes through authority. So here we have it. We're down to fifty-three thousand, which is decent. So we click up here, export, and this one pops up. So how do you want to export this? Uh, obviously I want all the rows, so I go for the full export here. And I'm pretty sure this doesn't matter too much. I usually just go for this one. And as you can see up here, export files will be available for download in a few minutes. So that's up at this one. You just click here, you can see it's still processing. And we'll just wait wait for that to finish. I might just want to refresh the page. And here we have it. So this is the file with all the broken links. So we open it. And it's just going to download here. And here we go. Um, so you see, here are all the rows with broken links. 53,000 uh, do follow broken links. Now, uh, this is the uh, column we're interested in, the link URL. Um, so this is the broken links right here. Now, just take the first one, select that and go down to the bottom, hold shift and press on that one. Now, let's just copy this and open up scrape box here and we're going to use this uh, area here right click it and paste slash add from clipboard and you see right here we have a lot of links here so this is basically what we're going to scrape through but before we get going we just want to narrow them down for our own sake um, so we go here and remove the dupl duplicate domains as you can see, we're down to 15,000 right now. Now, next up, we can go and click on trim and then trim to the root, just the root domain. Um, yeah. And another thing you can do if, if you really want to, if you're looking for a specific uh, TLDs, you can go to remove URLs with a specific, um, with a specific extension. And I think it's a good idea to just remove stuff like 
the gov domains edu because obviously you, you can't just go and register those and that just narrowed it down to 12,000 anyways you can mess around with the filters here and trimming and and so on just to get down to uh, just sort of sort of all the junk that that you don't even mind checking um, yeah so now we're gonna click here grab slash check we're gonna check unregistered domains and the thing is right here we have all the domains you can see it's, sim it's as simple as just clicking start right here and leave this unchecked um, this will just um, if it doesn't give any DNS response to the domain it will go check the who is information and see if if it can try to figure out if it's registered or not so that will just give way more precise uh, results so leave that off so I'm gonna start this and then I'll just leave the process going for a while here as you can see the first the DNS check here it's a pretty fast um, it's a pretty fast process and once it's done the one that it needs to it will go to the second check where it checks the who is so I'll be back in a moment okay so here we are guys it has finished now and we're ready to export the results so down here in export we have the option to export the available or the unavailable domains depending on our needs and in this case we obviously need the available domains so we're gonna save this as a txt file it just has the domain name it doesn't have any data or anything in it it's pretty simple now what I like to do is open up this file with uh, notepad++ because in notepad++ we can see the line numbers and the reason for this is we'll go ahead and use the batch analysis tool now and as you can see we are limited to 200 URLs per analysis so it's really really easy to go ahead and select the first 200 here we can analyze these now I'm not go gonna go into detail about selecting domains because this is yeah this is um, something you have to do manually you have to build your knowledge around this uh, yourself it's also highly subjective what you think is a good domain or not and the use case you have for it as well um, but then again it's just go through this list you can go ahead and select sort it by the domain rating you can just check the first domain here doesn't look that good since it doesn't have very many referring domains but so, as you can see we have backlinks from CNET which is the site we scraped and we have from Google actually so it's two strong backlinks um, yeah and then you can just go ahead and sort through these domains and say you didn't find anything there just click delete and select the 200 next lines so it's pretty much just rinse repeat and you're pretty sure to find something sooner or later if you don't find anything from the first domain you tried well you're just gonna go to the hrefs rank again and find another site with lots of content it's actually fairly simple and easy to replicate another site could be maybe this one yeah with lots of news you just go ahead and just search through different sites you'll find some work and some don't work it's just down to trial and error yeah um, sorry for being a little rusty with my speaking in this video I have not recorded in a long time but hopefully I'll get back up to speed very soon now if you have any questions in regards to this video or the topic in general just in the comment section throw me a message and I'll try to give you a proper answer within a timely manner um, if you want more you're more than welcome to click the subscribe button um, I try to upload videos on digital marketing SEO stuff like that um, every now and then I do reviews of, of products like services like it could be hrefs and I do guides on how to do things more efficiently work smart 
not hard. So thank you guys for watching, see you in another video, goodbye.